If you're like most folks, grocery shopping can be a bit of a chore and a bore, especially during these uncertain times. So, how do you quite literally spice it up by venturing the aisles of your local supermarket? Luckily for you, I got a magazine that's gonna give you some scrumptious solutions today. I'll also clue you in on a fantastic game show that's being given a new coat of sauce and sass. That's coming up as TSL comes to you from Price Right in Patterson. Well, we'll bring you a little more than Hollywood home on a budget today. Stay with us. Welcome into TSR. Today we're coming at you from Price Ryan and Patterson to review the September 2020 issue of Food Network Magazine, which I had to pay absolutely nothing for on account of this being a part of my subscription that I got from Donna Ionelli. So uh, you have her to thank for this on location suit. The first one I think of the whole year, or maybe in a long while, because of this coronavirus nonsense. And yes, I am wearing my mask, although it's hard to talk through this mask. There's another good reason why I'm broadcasting from the market today, and it's a very good reason. Tonight is the premiere of the reboot of Supermarket Street on ABC. It's held by SNL alumni Leslie Jones, and it's produced by Fremantle Media North America. This magazine actually has a section called the Supermarket Awards. The hottest, funniest, tastiest, most buzzwordy new items to find in your local market, or a specialty foods market as opposed to a general shopping market like this. I will show you those items, and hopefully, we'll be able to walk out of here with a few of them from this list. First up, as an amused boost to all of this, we begin with the welcome letter from Editor-in-Chief Mally Carpenter, who describes her experiences all the way from an online grocery service as opposed to shopping at a real supermarket, even though they were, and still are, essential businesses. So this really is a tribute to the essential business, to end all essential businesses, or really to accentuate them all, the grocery store, like this one here in Patterson. Nothing against the online grocery stores, but there is something a bit more, shall we say, fun about shopping at an actual supermarket. I know, my cold open sounds contradictory, but hey, to Mally's point, there's nothing like shopping at a real supermarket and interacting with real people. Even though nowadays, it's six feet apart and with a mask. So here we go with the supermarket section in this fun cooking section. And believe you me, this really is fun cooking. Albeit kind of weird. Actually cooking a Frito pie in a cut open bag of Fritos. How about that? Anyway, you see the instructions and the ingredients? We just might pick that up afterwards. There's also another thing to pick up, which is quite essential. But for right now, we gotta get to the Supermarket Awards. Blue Popcorn, Pickle Salsa, Giant Cereal. Here are the most exciting new finds at the grocery store. And here they are now. This is the complete list. Best new way to get a pickle fix, how to do snacks, best candy comeback, new crossover soda, best new dessert hybrid, smartest new packaging for an old favorite, most brilliant new pizza topping, best new Technicolor snacks, most exciting new cauliflower creations. Best new ramen shortcut. Most ingenious new use of food scraps. Most festive new coffee accessory. Most convincing new fake meat. Big shout out is in order for the best new Technicolor snacks. Best thing to happen to cinema since Vista Vision. Actually, uh, Technicolor came first before Vista Vision, if you don't remember. But wait, there's more. Dreamiest new seltzer flavor. Coolest new vegan snack. Most exciting new super size snacks. Coolest new iced tea. Best new restaurant to grocery aisle find. Most sophisticated new pumpkin spice product. Yes, because it is that time of year again. Pumpkin spice season. And best new use of oat milk. Let's see if we can find any of the items in this supermarket award section in a regular grocery store. Much like this one. Here we go. Yeah, look, hey, look. 
Unfortunately, we weren't able to locate any item on that list. <sighs> Just a bunch of frozen foods and snacks and uh, beverages for the most part of it, so... Whatever. And by the way, Good and Gather does not count in this store because that's exclusive to Target. Subway has their own brand of prepared foods called Bowl and Basket. It's essentially Subway's Good and Gather. This is their tomato sauce that I sold you in the cold open. So, in the context of trying to find anything on the list, they failed. However, they more made up for a few departments, which I want to show you right now. Some honorable mentions. Oh, another bowl and basket item for you. General soul chicken for what you can't do Chinese takeout. Outside. First up, Paw Patrol. See these Kellogg's Paw Patrol uh, gummy snacks? There's a movie coming out soon, and Kim Kardashian will be among the otherwise decently talented voice cast. Are you kidding me, Pamba Animation? Are you screwing with us Nickelodeon movies? Whatever. We can't wait for Sponge on the one from CBS All Access, and you did pass with Dora and the Lost City of Gold. And this? This? Hmm. Me no like it. Especially with Kim Kardashian's bully. Go Gut Marvel Avengers. Another cool thing. Rice Krispie Treats. With a $13 movie ticket when you buy five of these things to celebrate Sponge on the one. And look at that, only in theaters. Nope, now on CBS All Access. Still, should be a fantastic movie. What else you got in here? Oh yeah, Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream. Cherry Garcia. So named after the front guitarist for The Grateful Dead. Our four free edible tribute to guitarist Jerry Garcia and Grateful Dead fans everywhere it's the first ice cream name for a lot legend and the most famous of our fan suggested flavors. Christopher Campbell of America's Test Kitchen said you should go nuts for this. If that doesn't suit your ice cream fetish late at night, then how about something which might be even more appropriate for that type of fetish? The Tonight Dough from Ben and Jerry's, all covered in frost. Jeez, and now it's getting on my magazine. <laughs> Obviously, it's named for the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Inspired by the show and the host we love, staying up late for, here's a flavor you'll love spooning into. Dedicated to Serious Fun Children's Network, a global camp for children with serious illnesses. All right, Jimmy Fallon. What a foul pal in the name of charity. I'm almost tempted to buy this. Of course, you got a Go Get Spongebob 20th Anniversary Best Year Ever R.I.P. Stephen Hillenburg. You got Yo Play, you know, Frozen 2, Yo Play Yogurt Snacks. And you got Fritos for Frito Pie. Everything else is already in the house. But the big winner of this grocery haul, if you will, has got to be this. And I don't even watch Bean Girls. Never have. But I did see the trailer. Mm, okay. Pillsbury Toaster Strudel Pastries. Limited edition pink icing included. Fetch. <sighs> Cream cheese and strawberry. With an opportunity to watch Mean Girls on Fandango now when you buy two specially marked boxes in one transaction. And we still have a few days left. It inspires Halloween. And it's free. <sighs> I never watched Mean Girls. I'm not into that, but I do have the book that suggested the movie. Or oh, inspired the movie. Queen Bees and Wannabees by Watson Weisman. Um, and of course, Pink in October is not just fetch to wear, it's also fetch for a very important cause. Breast cancer awareness month. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. But only 10% of your risk is related to genetics. For that other 90%, we can take steps to protect our health and reduce our risk by choosing healthful plant-based foods, getting active and exercising regularly, limiting alcohol consumption, and number four, aiming for and maintaining a healthy weight. Join us in taking this four-pronged approach to beat breast cancer. There is one thing that surprisingly this place does not sell. Rotisserie chicken. 
And that's a darn shame. Take a look at this. Had they had a rotisserie chicken to sell here, we could have made any of the following recipes in this rotisserie remix feature in the weeknight cooking section. Take a shortcut to dinner. Use a rotisserie chicken. You hear that price right? So now, we can't make chicken soup with dumplings, chicken Waldorf salad, named across for the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York, tequila chicken fettuccine, barbecue chicken sliders, lemon dill chicken cakes, Mediterranean chicken bowls, chicken taco salad, or cheesy dinnerini with chicken and spinach. Why? Because you don't have a rotisserie chicken. By the way, tequila chicken fettuccine definitely sounds like a Guy Fieri recipe. And I must say, speaking of Guy Fieri, although the original Supermarket Sweep is scarcely aired on TV now, the essence of the original is definitely very much alive in Guy's Grocery Games, their own take on Supermarket Sweep, and it's where contestants win more money on Supermarket Sweep and actually have to cook whatever they buy, quote-unquote, off of the shelves of their originally built vast supermarket arena, if you will. A really cool show, you ought to check it out. Otherwise, a solid grocery store, and definitely a very solid filming venue for a solid issue of Food Network magazine. And my thanks to Donna Ionelli once again for hooking me up with this magazine subscription. It does no one. This issue of Food Network mag earns four and a half out of five claps, and it's definitely something worth Check it out. For Price Wright and Patterson, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the thrift side.